So how do you create a budget and financial plan for your business? In this video, we'll look at setting yourself up for success with our comprehensive guide to developing a budget and financial plan that's tailored to your business. First of all, what is a business budget? Well, at its core, a budget outlines the plans for income, expenses and capital investments over a period of time. And it includes data like your sales figures, so the revenue, the turnover, the variable costs, the costs of creating the product, your cost of goods sold or direct costs, which leaves your gross profit. And then overheads, indirect costs or fixed costs, which are costs that you spend every month, whether or whether you sell your product or service or not, which leaves then your net profit. A cash flow forecast is going to include also the bank balance at the beginning of a period and at the end of the period. So it highlights the impact of cash in the bank from the trading of the business. And these are essential tools for any business, but in particular small businesses, to help you make better decisions. A detailed budget should be tailored to each owner's needs by accounting for those different sources of income, those different expenses, looking at the future costs and the revenue streams, helping to, make, uh, to create risk management strategies. So effectively, we're, we're, we're creating a detailed roadmap of your finances through the forecasting period and helping you plan for that income and maintaining cash flow to help you overcome challenging periods. It's going to help you better prepare for potential risks and the opportunities that will arise in the future. And it's also going to help you identify critical areas that need improvement or changes to stay competitive and profitable. So getting started. So having a well-structured budget is critical. Um, it's going to help you avoid costly mistakes and also make sure you're following a strategic course for your company. But it doesn't have to be complicated or time consuming. So let's start by gathering your financial information, such as the income and expenses from the previous year and then estimate what those figures might look like for the coming year. List all of your fixed costs. So these are all of the costs that happen whether you sell a product or not, such as your rent, utilities, insurance, things like that. And also make a note of the frequency of payments, whether it's monthly, quarterly, annually, weekly. Next, look at the variable expenses, such as the material you use to make your product or the productive wages of the team that deliver the service. Um, as these are the costs that are attributed to selling your products or services, so the cost of goods sold, um, things like that. Consider things like seasonal fluctuations as well. By mapping out the, the, the fluctuations, you'll be able to see for those busy periods where revenues increase and you might need to up the staffing levels, but also the, the, the slower periods and plan accordingly. So you're looking to plan out those periods so it allow you to strategize when to grow and when to expand. Once you've collated all the data, we want to analyse it to determine where to allocate resources to achieve desired goals for you and your business. So we really want to consider what your aspirations are for you and the business. You know, what does the business need to achieve in sales, margins and growth to get you to where you want to get to? After all, the business is a vehicle to allow you to get what you want out of life rather than reacting to what's happening and then reporting the results after they've happened. Once you've written your plan, we need to stick to it and we need to manage it. So knowing how you stick to the budget is going to be essential to make sure you stay on track towards achieving those goals. So have financial statements prepared each month that reflect the actual results and use this information to re review how the business has performed against budget or so previous periods. You can ask yourself questions like, you know, how does this compare to my expectations? What areas could be improved and what actions and focus do we need to put on them? Uh, which areas could give us the most significant improvements we can focus on the biggest? And also, are there any quick wins? Are there any easy fixes? Next, review all, of your, review all of your expenses, including your fixed costs and your variable costs. Identify any areas where you could control them, maybe. Um, keep on top of them. Help you save a little bit of money each month. Again, asking questions like, you know, what cost can we pull back on? Where can we improve the value of where, what, we, what we're getting from that investment? How can we manage and control these costs? And what systems are available to help improve efficiency? Ensure this process of review is regular and diarised in your diary or calendar, even if you're a one-person business. 
And then lastly, make collating the data easy and quick to do. The more laborious it is, the more likely you'll put it off. If you can, invest in accountancy systems that automate data entry. Get somebody else to review the accounts with you. Empower them to ask you challenging questions about numbers. It's a safe environment to play with strategies and ideas. And of course, if you need any more help and advice, then why not reach out to one of your local coaches within the No Limits community, become a member at any level, and join in with some of the things that we're working on.